assalamu alaikum viewers this is zaira batul here and i welcome you all to english buffet dot 5 i hope that you all are taking small steps along with me for the improvement of english language so again get ready for a spoken practice for uh, telling the clock time today you all will be able to tell the time in english so without wasting a single minute let's move ahead Yes you can see viewers the clock in front of you it is divided into two portions one portion first half is having the word past so whenever you will be telling the time in this portion you will say past and when you will move to this portion you will say two right if 15 minutes are past you will say quarter past okay and if half of the clock is done you will say half past if you are moving here you will say uh, some minutes to that digit right or if 15 minutes are left you will say quarter to that so let's do further practice see the first clock we will say it's 25 past 7 in the next one we will say it's quarter past 12 here in this clock we will say it's 5 past 6 and here we will say it's 10 past 9 right further what time is it what time is it there in the clock it's half past 2 right or we can say it's 2:30 which one is better this one is better definitely it's half past 2 so uh, viewers when do we say o clock when the clock is striking a full digit jab ek pura digit baj raha ho for example then we will say one o clock Two o'clock, three o'clock, right? So in this way we will say o'clock. Do you know o'clock stands for what? It is of the clock, right? O o is a contraction here, o apostrophe then clock. So we will say of clock, right? Let's move ahead. Let's do it in detail now. Let's take the example. If uh, it is going on after one o'clock, so what we will say if. Uh, it is on 5 if the small uh, or big needle is on 5 1 we will say it's 5 past 1 then it's 5 uh, sorry 10 past 1 quarter past 1 20 past 1 25 past 1 half past 1 then we will move to 2 it's 25 to 2 20 to 2 quarter to 2 it's 10 to 2 it's 5 to 2 and it's 2 o'clock i hope you understood right so this is so easy just you have to keep in mind two things that the first portion of the clock is dealing with past and the second portion of the clock is dealing with two that's it right it's so simple viewers i have added this slide for you that if some of you are puzzled how to tell uh, the time in english and they are given such uh, type of sentences in urdu so there is no need to be confused just try to do what memorize these sentences you have to speak in english right for example if the sentence is waqt kya hua hai you will say what time is it ek baj gaya hai it's 1 o'clock सवा एक हो गए हैं इट्स क्वार्टर पास वन डेढ़ हो गया है इट्स हाफ पास्ट वन पौने दो हुए हैं वी विल से इट्स क्वार्टर टू टू इट्स वेरी सिंपल नाउ आफ्टर डूइंग दिस लेट्स री कैप वॉट एवर वी डिड बिफोर सो व्यूअर्स यू हैव टू कीप इन माइंड टू थिंग्स आपने सिर्फ दो चीज़ें जहन में रखनी है फर्स्ट पोर्शन ऑफ द क्लॉक इज पास्ट एंड सेकेंड पोर्शन ऑफ द क्लॉक इज टू राइट सिर्फ ये चीज़ आपने जहन में बिठा लेनी है दूसरा ये कि फॉर एग्जाम्पल फर्स्ट क्लॉक इज हैविंग यू विल से इट इज हाफ पास्ट टेन इन दिस यू विल से इट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव टू टू हेयर यू विल से इट्स क्वार्टर टू टू हेयर यू विल से इट्स क्वार्टर पास्ट एट एंड हेयर यू विल से इट्स फोर ओ क्लॉक राइट so what is needed from you viewers it is just the practice you need 
This slide is deliberately added by me because I have seen many of the students, many of us make mistake whenever we tell the time. We become confused while choosing the appropriate preposition. Let's uh, have a practice. What is the time dash your watch? What do you think? Which one is the suitable? It is by your watch, right? So, I have added this slide for you so that you may correct yourself while choosing an, uh, a preposition for telling the time. I hope viewers, you have understood whatever I was telling you. It's very, very easy to tell the time in English. Just what you need is to remember the portions of the clock. Quarter past and quarter two and half past. First half of the clock will be dealing with past and a second half of the clock will be dealing with two. Just remember these two things and keep on practicing. Definitely you will be seeing how um, uh, much improvement you will be having while telling the time. So let's end our video with the thought of the day that uh, you may delay but time will not. Definitely time is gold viewers so we must not waste the time. So keep on enjoying my videos. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and like my videos and uh, try to share my videos too. Uh, I will definitely bring another amazing video for you till the time. See you. Allah Hafiz.